You gotta admit, Google Drive is a real game changer. We no longer have to carry files on flash drives and we can access those from anywhere in the world. We can work on the same file with other people at the same time. And in case our hard drive happens to crash, we can use Google Drive to store our important documents. Google Drive is constantly improving, they're constantly adding new functions and features. So today I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial of a couple of tips and tricks that I constantly use and you will love. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. So we all know that in Google Drive, you simply right click and select Google Doc, Sheets, Google Slides, Forms, etc. And it will create a new document for you. Same thing if you click on the new and then select Doc, Sheets, Slides, it will create it. But did you know this trick? You're somewhere out on the web, you go to the URL and you type doc.new. Guess what it does? Creates a new document instantly. Now the same thing applies with sheet.new. Creates a Google Sheet. And then you guessed it, the same thing applies for slides. So type in slide.new and new slides appear. And then finally, form.new, the same thing happens. So wherever you happen to be, you can simply get straight into your document. Okay, this is one of my favorite voice dictation. Click on tools, click on voice typing. And now all you have to do is click the little microphone and start talking. Okay. This is a voice test to see what the transcription service is like when I just speak normally without remotely slowing down. As you know, I speak too quickly anyway. New paragraph. Well, it seems to do a pretty good job, comma, and especially when you can add punctuation marks, exclamation mark. Yeah, I kind of didn't get that bit right. New paragraph. So it's doing a pretty good job and I think this is something that you can definitely have running whilst you have your Zoom open or your Microsoft Team open and it can essentially transcribe your meeting and as well as transcribe your college or your school lecture. This is pretty cool. Now it's not going to get everything right obviously. But it's a lot easier to go and edit something when it's mostly typed out and you're just going to go in and change a couple of words. Being able to use your voice really is a big time saver. And yes, you can even go and use your voice to format your document. You can make things bold and underline and you can select text, all of that good stuff. I prefer to simply use it to transcribe everything and then simply manually go back and then do it the good old fashioned way with a keyboard and a mouse. But this is incredible and the accuracy is just wow. What I really like is the way that they've taken the linking, not just to a website, but also links to other documents. Let me show you what I mean. So here is the techie guy. I want to link to my website. I go to the insert link from the toolbar and it will automatically start searching to see what's the best link that I could use. But look at this. It also looks for documents within my Google Drive that use that same keyword and I could link to those documents as well. So everything ties in nice and beautiful together. Now, another cool thing to look at is the Explorer on the bottom right. Click on Explore. It opens up a mini web browser within Google Drive. So you don't actually have to leave this document. Now, under your search, type in whatever you want to type in. Let's just type in the techie guy at this stage. Of course, it's going to bring you up the websites, etc. Now, what is cool is you see those little quotation marks on the right that pop up next to each of these links. Let me show you what to do with those. So going back into our document, let's just say I'm typing out my proposal. I'm typing up a college essay or a school essay and I want to be able to cite my sources. So I'm going to say I find this cool quote. It'll be OK in the end. If it's not OK, it's not the end. Right. Where did I find this quote? Well, I found it on the Techie Guys website. So now I want to cite that as a source. There it is. And I click the little quotation mark. And then you'll notice it puts a little number, a little number one there, right tiny next to the end of that quote. But at the bottom of the document, there is my source quoted that has been cited correctly. Love this, saves you so much time. It's also a good way to keep track of information and you want to be able to go back to a document and find its original source. This is a great way to do this. 
Okay, let's move on within this explore page. Another cool thing to do is, of course, look other things up. Like I want an image to represent whatever the document happens to be. So I go into my search here and then I'm going to start typing it. Just type in some random search gadget and go into images, find a cool image. Let's just see. Okay, hold on. This is a good one. Now, of course, you've got copyright issues and all of that good stuff. But this is just for illustrative purposes. Make sure you respect other people's work. Now, I'm going to say insert. And there we go. It links straight to that image. So already my document is looking much better and I haven't left the document. I don't need to leave it to go copy and paste, copy and paste. Final thing in this little browser, the drive actually searches your own Google Drive for that word gadget to see if there's anything that you want to link straight from here. Very, very cool. Right, we have made lots of changes to this document, but don't worry, Google Drive has got lots of version controls as well. Click on File, Version History, see Version History, and on the right-hand side, you'll see a full drop-down option of all the versions of this document, including the timestamps of when you made each change. In fact, you can actually click on the timestamp itself and give it a name, so something that's more meaningful to you. Now, you're not done yet. What you can do is you can click the little drop-down arrow next to that name, and now it will go even more granular. It will show you a timestamp for each and every change that you've made. So let's go find one. There it is. So at this time, I added those numbers. At this timestamp, I removed a whole bunch of text. This is really cool. It really allows you to have deep versioning control, not of just the entire document, but individual paragraphs and words within any changes that you've done. Now, of course, if you want to restore one of those versions, well, top left hand side, you've got a button called restore this version. Simply click on that. A little pop up will confirm that and then you're back to that version. So here's a quick way to see what your final document would look like before you print it or share it. Simply go to the top, get rid of the word edit and type there preview. And there is the document as other people would see it. You want to go back to editing, get rid of preview and type edit. And now you can continue to edit the document. So if you're like me, you tend to have lots and lots of folders, which makes it difficult to spot a specific folder that you want to constantly be using. What I do is I right click on that folder, choose change color and then select a color. Now it kind of pops amongst all the other folders. Another cool little hack is open up a new website called Emojipedia. This is all the emojis live and find an emoji that you want to use. Right click on that emoji, choose copy and go back to your folder list. Right click on the folder name, choose rename and then simply paste that emoji in there. Yes, you can still have the emoji plus the folder name. Let's just say my flight details. Click OK. And voila, there we go. We have colors and we have cute little emojis to represent each of the folder. Hope you find some of them useful and you can use in your daily life. Check out more tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if it's your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.